This video will be for the separate elastic waistband. So we have previously done a regular elastic waistband, but this one is separated to where you have a separate pattern piece for the, um, for the waistband area. And so on this one, on your patterns, um, it may have had seam allowances on that top and bottom area. If it did, that was a mistake. So make sure to take those off. So you can see I just have seam allowance on my little short ends. So go ahead and cut those off if they were on your pieces. And then you're gonna have a front and back um, pattern piece that has just a quarter inch seam allowance up at the top. And we're going to stitch together those shorts just like we did on the elastic waistband video. So I've already pre-stitched together my little pair of shorts to get ready to put that waistband on there. And then this is my waistband piece. You will need to serge together that short end, right sides together so that you can turn that into a full circle. The next thing we're gonna need to do is cut our elastics to size. So we're going to measure our waistline. This one is five inches. And this one is four and five eighths. So we're gonna add that together and multiply by two. Okay, so that will equal 19.25. For this one, we're going to cut our elastic exactly to that length because we still want it to be one inch smaller than our waistline but we um, will overlap it one inch so that one inch seam allowance will take up that extra length. So this is 18 inches, 19 and a quarter. So there's my full elastic. Now we're gonna take this over to our domestic sewing machine. We're gonna overlap it one inch, and then we're going to stitch where that inch overlap is, stitch in a square around the edges with an X in the middle. And that's going to give us a really good tight stitch that won't pull out when this is stretched. Okay, over at our machine, I've got this overlapped by one inch. I'm just gonna start at one side and we're doing a regular straight stitch right now. And I'm gonna do like an edge stitch all the way around that elastic. When I get to this corner, I'm going to go diagonally to the other corner. I can stitch over one of my sides again so I can get to the other diagonal. And then go diagonally the other way so it makes an X. Just cutting off my tails and then I'll show you what that looks like. So there's the close up. It's black thread so it's a little harder to see but you can see that square with an X in the middle.
our elastic and our waistband both in a full circle. We're going to take that waistband and we're going to fold it in half wrong sides together and we're going to start putting our elastic in there. As we do that we want to make sure to match up those quadrants so right now I'm going to mark that so my seam is going to be one marking so fold it in half and right where that other end folds in half I'm going to mark it and then match those two together and mark it at the two sides. And we wanna do the same thing with our elastic. So right here in the middle of our X is gonna be one marking. That's where center back is gonna go. So fold right on that and we'll get the other side. That's center front. And then match those two together to get the two sides. Now when we put these together, we're going to match up those pins. We want our seam on our waistband to go at a side seam. So if this is center back, then over here is going to be a side seam. I'll match that up. And your fabric is just going to wrap around your elastic and all the edges should come flush at the other side. sorry okay so now we've got that pinned we're going to do a stay stitch because these two edges, when we go to put this on our garment, we're going to have to stretch and those two edges are going to want to pull away. So we're going to do just a regular straight stitch all the way around this just to keep all those edges together and make our lives a little bit easier when we go to put it on our shorts. Okay, over at our machine, I've got my single needle with my stretch thread. And I've pushed my stitch length up to a four, so we can just do a basting stitch around our elastic. And we just wanna do it um, less than a quarter inch because when we serge, it'll be a quarter inch wide. So anything less than a quarter inch is good, and you want to make sure that you're getting those edges of your fabric right flush with the edge of the elastic.
So just like that, it's gonna hold all our edges together so that when we go to serge this on, they don't try to pull apart. Okay, now that we've got that waistband basted, we're gonna go ahead and start pinning and serging it to our garment. So the first thing we're gonna do is find those four equal quadrants on our waistband again. So we should already have one right at the center back where that X of the elastic is. So I'm gonna mark the other side. That'll be center front. And then we've also got one right here where the seam is. That's where we found the side seam the first time. So I'm just marking that other side seam. Pin those together on exit. Okay. Say, and then your shorts already have the four equal quadrants because you've got seams there. So it's a lot easier to see. So now we're gonna flip our shorts right side out and we're gonna start matching that waistband up. So make sure you look at the notches on your crotch area of your shorts to be able to tell which is front and which is back. This one, you might barely be able to see it. I've got a double notch, so I know that's my back side. So right on the back is where we're going to put that X. And I want my seam allowance to be pressed over towards the right side of the body. And then on my side seams, seam allowances should go towards the back of the body. Center front, again, go towards the right of the body with that seam allowance. And then my other side seam. Once we've got those pinned, we're ready to start serging this on. Okay. This will be a little thick, so you may have to kind of help it under the foot. Get my pin out of there. Okay. And then we're going to just stretch each section. So I'm gonna pull on my garment so that it lays flat to my elastic as I serge. This elastic is pretty strong. It's a one inch elastic. So you may, again, need to kind of have a hand in front and a hand in back to help it through the machine. Make sure you have that blade off if you are working with elastic so you don't cut into your elastic. I'm gonna clip off my little tail before it goes into the machine because I don't have my blade there to cut it off for me. Serge off the edge. It looks like my serge was not quite as wide as I thought, so my basting stitch you can see is still visible. So if that's the case for you, you'll need to go and. Whoop, there we go, you can see. <laughs> You'll need to go and um, take out that basting stitch. So if that happened for you, go ahead and take it out. And then at this point, we have a completed waistband. 
where we've got those little kind of puckers here, but they're not tucks. And then as this is on a body, it will stretch out and lay nice and flat. So that's our finished separate waistband.